Taking place on the day after Easter, Dingus Day is a popular annual tradition in areas of the United States that contain large swaths of Polish-American populations. The largest yearly celebration in the entire country takes place in Buffalo, New York, which is coincidentally where I live, so I'm pretty much obligated to make this video. There are only a handful of other American cities, such as Cleveland and Chicago, that host their own Dingus Day celebrations. If you live in the other 90% of the country and currently have no idea what a dinkus is, then hold on to your butts, because this is gonna get weird. I'm Think So Joski, and on this episode of Things You Might Not Know, I'm going to answer the question, what the heck is Dingus Day? Originating in Poland, Dingus Day is a Roman Catholic holiday celebrated by the Polish diaspora across Central Europe. It's only referred to as Dingus Day in the United States, probably because we sometimes like to forget that other languages exist. Otherwise, it's known as Smigus Dingus. The various festivities are not completely identical across the board, but some of the traditions have become more or less infamous. The best example of this is the tradition where boys dump a bucket of water on a girl they like and then spank them with pussy willow branches. Yeah, I told you it'd be weird. Don't have any pussy willows around? No problem. In some parts of Slovakia and Czechia, they use a fun toy known as an Easter Whip instead. Easter Whips are generally handmade and contain anywhere from 4 to 24 twigs that are approximately 2 meters long with some ribbon at the end. If this is all sounding a bit too misogynistic, then don't you worry, because in many celebrations, it's perfectly acceptable for a role reversal to happen. Hungary has its own toned-down version of this tradition that involves spraying with perfume instead of being soaked with water like you just won the Super Bowl. Also, instead of anyone getting hit with branches, painted eggs are exchanged. When it comes to the history of Dingus Day, no one really knows what the exact origins are. Some believe that it actually has pagan roots, possibly dating back before 1000 AD, and having an association with the pre-Christian celebration of the March Equinox. The fact that the main celebrations occur in Western Slavic and Lectic nations strengthens the pagan origin belief for many. The traditions have been linked to the Slavic goddess of fertility. The furthest back that anyone has been able to trace the celebrations is to the 14th century, with writings about the events popping up in the 15th century. There is debate about the specific etymology of the word dingus, but it's at least been settled that it's a word of German origin. The New Cambridge Medieval History takes this a step further, suggesting that the celebrations as a whole came from German origin, not Polish. I'm sure there are many out there that disagree with this. There have been attempts in the early known history of Dingus Day to try and curtail the tradition. One of the best known of these happened in the year 1410 when the Bishop of Hoznan put forth a decree in which he tried and failed to forbid Dingus Day celebrations. If anyone attempted to outlaw Dingus Day in the 21st century, I'm quite certain the entirety of the Bills Mafia would be ready to go to war. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Things You Might Not Know! If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can see a playlist of Things You Might Not Know videos over here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time!